Hi everyone, it's Pat here from Scrivener Art and Design. Today I'm in my studio. It's a wet and windy west coast day here on Vancouver Island. And I am working on more of my morning meditation series. So these small panels that I have prepped and with some texture and a base layer of iron oxide in acrylic. So the painting today, I've already started by just simply putting paint on from my leftover palette knife or scraper as I was working on a previous painting. So it's a bit of a mishmash to start. Let's see where it goes. So here you see the panel that has a bunch of paint on and I like turning it it's still a bit wet, so I'm blending it. The green is made out of the yellow and blue I had on my palette and on, that I was using on another painting. Here you see me adding some burnt umber at the bottom just to give it a little more dark value. And this painting had the red iron oxide acrylic underpainting. So I'm just working very quickly from imagination uh, using only a couple of tools. Now I'm adding the yellow ochre and I'm blending it with the wet paint to get a, a totally different color to kind of tone it down. It's very earthy. Bring in some blue. This is mixed quite a bit with white to tone it down. Again, blending wet into wet. You have to be cautious that you don't get too much of your underpaint up doing this technique. So I'm applying it quite gingerly here so it's sitting on top of the surface and I'm just still applying it with a palette knife working quickly this video isn't sped up this is actually the speed that I am working so I've taken that blue and I've mixed it down even more to get a lighter shade at the top letting bits and pieces of the underpainting peek through taking on a bit of a look of a landscape with some trees, water. So often I go down to the stairs by my house and walk down to the ocean. And so there's always uh, some water in my view and trees, grasses, vegetation of different types. So I'm just trying to capture that whole uh, feeling that I get when I walk down the stairs and right now there's lots of fall, fall foliage bringing a little bit of light back in near the top making sure that I have a strong contrast of values throughout my painting Adding a little bit of marks, I'm using a knitting needle for this and scratching back to my previous layer. This is the beauty of cold wax and oil, being able to scratch back in even quite a while after uh, you've painted you know the next day even that you can scratch back in so not like acrylic where you have to do it really quickly it's so just adding a little bit of line work here and there to give it maybe a little bit more structure Don't get too carried away with making marks. It can get overly busy. 
And I'm just scraping off any excess around the edges. You don't want that to dry on there because it is hard then to remove your tape. I think I'll call it quits here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It's always fun doing these little canvases or panels and just getting something down quick. I hope it will inspire you to get going on something. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell button for notifications. Please leave any comments about future videos that you would like or questions that you may have. I hope to see you again real soon. Thanks for watching and take great care. Bye.